accommodated or located in a Wakra stadium that can really people can utilize and help uh, for a Wakra community. Similar things, for example, we can talk about each stadium has a different, if you like, legacy plan. So that you can. Based on, that's a tent, yeah, exactly. Based on the community need and the consultation with the local community. Sixty thousand will go down to again another twenty thousand. Some stadiums will accommodate galleries. Some stadiums accommodate uh, like uh, retail shops um, and so on, all depending on the, as we said, the interest, the requirement of the um, local community with a close consultation, of course, with the municipalities. You made the local solutions also with the rebuildings or things. The local so uh, you okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, again, all our stadiums. The inspiration behind the designs. Again, very unique designs. Something like you know from the tr traditional uh, fashion or or uh, clothing or customs of the, of the country to the Bedouin tent, to uh, the waves, and again, the sea or the boats. So you have more information, again, starting from the inspiration of the design of the stadium, to the actual concept of the construction and the architecture, moving on to the legacy plan. All of that is available on our uh, uh, website, of course. For example, Luce, which is the main and the biggest stadium that we put the opening and the closing, we will keep the exterior of the stadium, it will stay as we may. However, the whole uh, building will not remain as a stadium anymore, and it will be like a recreation. Yeah, multi-purpose. Yeah. Multi-purpose plan? Multi-purpose plan. Multi-purpose It's like not going to be like it will host shops, it will host like a, a offices, commercial spaces, and indoor, indoor gardens, and so on. social center. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Sorry, seven new stadiums with one renovated. Thank you, Karim. That gave us the possibility to really study well and be able to implement the, the legacy plan across the board. Okay. Yeah, please. I would recommend uh, front. Trying to worry about like, as much as you can get closer. It's, like, it's, not it's not all at once. It's over as, uh, 20 feet. Okay. Front, middle seat. Okay. Uh, but other countries like it's we're looking at it more as an advantage. A vibrant hub shines on the Arabian Peninsula, the state of Qatar. where guests are always welcome, a rich culture of many facets, an open door connecting past, present, and future. Celebrating 
its heritage while embracing innovation. This Gulf nation takes great pride in the pioneering spirit of its people. Creative minds working together towards a brighter, more sustainable tomorrow and achieving the goals of the Qatar National Vision 2030. Qatar, at the crossroads of the world. Uniquely positioned to extend football's global reach. In 2022, on these shores, people will come from every corner of the world to join together at a historic moment. The first FIFA World Cup to be held in the Middle East and just the second in Asia. Qatar is a global gateway. Easily accessible to more than 2 billion people, it is the perfect location for hosting the world's greatest sporting event for everyone who visits in 2022. And for viewers at home, Qatar's central location means as many as 3 billion primetime viewers tuning in to matches. Another factor, sure to increase the tournament's audience and expand the game's global reach. of about two and a half million people and covering an area of 11,500 square kilometers, Qatar is a small but mighty country. Its size allows for the most secure, sustainable and connected FIFA World Cup ever for players, FIFA and fans. Most venues are within 20 kilometers of central Doha, eliminating completely the need for air travel during the tournament. Accommodation is ideally situated close to stadiums, transport and everything else Qatar has to offer. The innovative and compact FIFA cluster will benefit the entire football family, bringing everyone closer together. Because of Qatar's small footprint, footballers will benefit from being able to live and train at the same places throughout the tournament. At tournament time, smart traffic management will make it easy to get from place to place thanks to Qatar's connected intermodal transportation system. A state-of-the-art metro, light rail, and upgraded road networks means the maximum travel time to any tournament venue will be no more than one hour. Our compact and connected hosting plan allows visitors to make the most of their stay in Qatar. They can easily attend two matches in a day, with plenty of time left over to go to fan zones, explore Qatar's many attractions, and enjoy Qatar's world-class dining and hospitality. At the center of the 2022 FIFA World Cup Qatar are the ultramodern stadiums and their surrounding precincts, each a stunning architectural statement in its own right. and diversity of Qatari culture, fascinating shapes and forms uniquely define each stadium.
accessible to all. Our stadiums include countless innovations, such as cutting-edge coding systems to keep the venues comfortable for players and spectators alike. Smart power and water systems and other sustainable technologies will further reduce the carbon footprint of each venue and the tournament as a whole. Modular construction will allow for easy downsizing once the tournament has concluded. The detachable upper tiers of our stadiums will be sent to developing countries, a key promise in our post-event legacy planning. To weave venues into the urban fabric, multifaceted precincts have been designed to become vibrant parts of their communities. As hubs for culture, business, education and recreation, these precincts form another vital legacy of the tournament. As the Gulf nation opens its doors for the 2022 FIFA World Cup, there will be a world to discover beyond football. That includes countless attractions, nature, culture, and much, much more. But of course, in 2022, the focus will be squarely on football. Fan zones will provide family-friendly spaces for everyone, bringing people together from across the world, creating an electric atmosphere of festivity and jubilation. Then there's the ultimate experience, attending a FIFA World Cup match, cheering, singing, applause, anticipation and excitement all filling the air and flooding the senses, all in tandem as the stadium becomes the beating heart of global football. The 2022 FIFA World Cup Qatar is the story of a dream becoming reality. The story of creating a legacy for today and tomorrow, powered by Qatar, its people, and their pioneering spirit. Renewable energy and a reduced carbon footprint, modular stadiums and mixed-use precincts, new infrastructure for local communities. It is a legacy that will benefit the host country, ushering in a whole new era of sustainable human, social, economic, and environmental development. But the benefits will not be limited to Qatar. By bringing people together, supporting developing countries, and setting new standards for future tournaments, the 2022 FIFA World Cup Qatar will change the country, the region, and ultimately, the world.